let's head into our 5209 campus. I think Ingrid is waiting for us so we can learn more about El Barrio. Hi, Amy. Hi, Ingrid. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you so much for coming. We're glad to be here and learn Bien about El Barrio. Bienvenida al barrio. What does that mean? <laughs> that means welcome to El Barrio in Spanish. Great. And that's a tribute to our origin. Great. So, you want to walk around and we'll, uh, we'll talk about El Barrio. Would love to. Um, El Barrio is the workforce center of the centers. And that's very important because we're kind of like the hub for all of the centers. So anyone can refer individuals to us who need employment. Uh, we do this uh, basically by providing case management, training, employment services, and follow-up and retention. So those are the processes to the program. And we do that with different target populations, which makes us so interesting. So we do not only serve Hispanics, right. we serve a wide variety of individuals. We are one of the two providers in Cuyahoga County that serves refugees for employment. Uh, they come to us, we teach them ESL, we teach them how to find a job here in the United States and how to live. I mean, just basic life skills are very important. So, so this is your computer lab. Can you tell us a little bit about it? It is. This is one of three computer labs that we have here at El Barrio. We have actually a total of 30, um, I'm sorry, 40 computers here on site, which is one of the largest capacities of the Workforce Development Centers in Cleveland. Wow, so what do the clients do in here? Um, they do everything from learning how to turn on the computer to job searching, interviewing, writing their resumes, um, researching companies before an interview, and um, getting online and basic job search. Of all our training programs, the one that um, makes El Barrio best known is its customer service training program. We have been designated as a best practice model by the National Council of La Raza. We have we provide third-party training, uh, certification training, which, which is extremely important, and we bring together 80 different corporate partners, not only to teach in the program but to hire, and it's primarily around our curriculum here. So I'd like to invite you into our customer service training class. They're working right now, uh, but we have uh, one of our career consultants, Selinette Mujica. Hi there. Hi. So can you give me an idea of maybe what you're working on right now? Right now, our clients are working with their barriers and how to take action in order to improve those barriers and pass them so they can find employment. Another one of the major accomplishments that El Barrio has managed to have is its retention program. We just started it two years ago, maybe less than two years ago, and just in that time, we've already managed to increase the retention of people who are employed, in some cases up to and more than 300%. That is all due to a very precise and intentional strategy and to people who are very dedicated to doing that, such as Katie First, who was our first uh, retention specialist. And I would imagine that with retention, that's our biggest benchmark for El Barrio. Yes, El Barrio definitely measures success by reaching the benchmarks. Um, we do track people's employment at the 30-day, 90-day, and 180-day level. And we want to see people get to that six months at 180 day, and so that's why it's so crucial to follow up with people to make sure that they are, you know, doing well, that they don't have any barriers, because that's often why people were losing their employment in the past. So by following up with them, offering a network of support, we're able to help see people stay in their careers long and to truly develop a career path. Great. And now we're going to see our job readiness and job search program for Spanish speakers. For that, we're going to have to walk upstairs because their curriculum includes a little workout that means two floors up, so come on. All right, let's try it. Okay, right now we're here in the Spanish speaking program of El Barrio. Here's where we teach job readiness and job search to individuals who are monolinguals in Spanish. Uh, we are the only program in the state of Ohio that does this, and that's very important because we want people to learn job habits, to learn job techniques, to learn how to find a job in their native language. Buenos días. Buenos días. ¿Cómo están todas? Bien. Ah, bueno, ¿en qué están trabajando? So for those of us who are going to struggle with that, what goes on in this classroom? Well, the curriculum here in Spanish is, uh, is a replicate, a model of the curriculum that we do in English. Right now they're working on interviewing questions because we want them to understand and be ready to interview 
and have the correct answer. So to learn how not to talk about personal issues, learn how to focus on the job itself and the skills that they have to offer for a job. Okay, so to wrap up, it's really important to remember we have informational sessions on Fridays. It's not every two Fridays, but it's close to every two Fridays. And that's when you can refer your clients to us 9 to 12 on those Friday mornings. Uh, we do a very brief uh, literacy and uh, math proficiency test, an interview, and we explain our program to see uh, if people are really interested in, in sticking and, and getting a job with us. So you can refer them all, you can give us a call as well, and we can tell you about those dates. Great. Can you at least let me thank you in Spanish for your time? Can you teach me that? Yeah, sure. Uh, gracias por tu tiempo. Gracias por tu tiempo. That's good enough. I'll work on I'll work on it. Thanks, okay, Ingrid. Thank you.